Over there. Over there. Go ahead and shut the light off in my room, in the dining room. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. You just tuned in to Nisi's World. I know it's late, but for some reason, it was in my heart to go ahead and do this and get it over. For those of you who are not able to be here tonight, we do understand. Um, I'm not going to take this live down because it's near and dear to my heart. I'm in my fitness a little bit, not too much. I just feel like they're, hello, Hollywood. Baby, I don't want to act like I don't see y'all. I do see y'all. Look upset. But I'm still smelling. Hey, Cynthia. It's always some, ain't it, girl? Cookie. Amber, I changed my name on YouTube fan page. I hope y'all went and seen uh, my post on the community page. If not, go check me out. I spend a lot of time saying every um, action does not deserve a reaction. But sometimes we got to be on that when there's enough enough. Because I feel like... When is enough enough, you know? It is a school night. You guys got to go to work tomorrow. And they say what's understood should not be explained. So I just want us to wrap it up real quick and kind of get an understanding, you know? Because I thought we had one, but apparently we don't. YouTube streets and YouTube world is real. Mm -hmm. I pat myself on the back because I came in some type of way and I had a, a lot of misunderstanding about who I am as a person, about who I am as a mother, about who I am as a wife, and who I am as a woman, okay? So if I'm explaining about anything, there's something that most definitely needs to be understood. Who am I? I am a very imperfect woman, mother, wife, daughter, and sister. But if I have nothing else, I have love and gratitude, and I have a lot of honesty. If I didn't, I wouldn't do those lives. And um, someone did uh, make a video about me and said, I'm sorry, y'all. They said that uh, lives are very personal. Once you put it out there, you cannot take it back. It shows a lot about who you are. I ride my lives. I know there's going to be judgment, and I don't there I don't care because I'm there for it all. I care about some of the accusations. Some of the defamation. I first thought that when people said things about me, they said it because they were mad or they was jealous or they didn't understand me as a person. I'm sorry. Let me get that over there. Yeah. And maybe a lot of y'all still don't understand me as a person. And like I said several times, I may not be for everybody. I may be too ratchet. I may be too outspoken. I may be too loving. I may be too aggressive. These are some of the things I deal with in my life. However, <laughs> the 
we don't have to have a to be honest challenge for y'all to tell, for me to tell y'all about me. My voice raised me. Uh, Kenya, give me some of that black water right quick, baby. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what it is with these ladies. I want to answer their questions. So maybe if I do, then I don't have to be accused. And as a woman or as a man, no one likes to be accused for something that they didn't do. And we sure don't want no ridicule. Okay? Am I a stern mother? Yes, I am. Do I love hard? Yes, I do. Open it for me, baby. In this world, we can please everyone. And you know what? I'm not even about pleasing nobody no more. It's just more about me being understood and not being misconcepted. But when do that end? Like I said, I'm not going to be a robot or talk like one. And I'm going to go ahead and get finished with this. But I have concerns. I want to say not about my supporters. But your girl, she done kind of messed up. That's why I got on IG. And I did what I did. You know, I told you guys what I was going through. I told you why. And I told y'all how I feel. That wasn't enough. <laughs> it was not enough. And maybe they go back to pleasing everybody. But what I'm seeing right now is not somebody who wants to be pleased. Or not somebody who wants to understand. Or not somebody who is curious. It's just basically judgmental. And... That's the point that I was telling you guys yesterday on Instagram. It hit me. I had epiphany. I don't walk around every day being judged. And if I do, I don't know it. Yes, I put my life out here on social media. Um, and I'm fine with it. Because if I wasn't, I wouldn't drink on here. I wouldn't discipline my family on her. I wouldn't talk about my life on her. I was even talking about rebuilding, which means I want to better me. Do I bump my head? Yes. God knows I do. But I learn through everything I go through. And for y'all who was not on IG yesterday, it was me and Richie. That's my bro, Peanut. That's the one that everybody is so rattled up about being here while my husband wasn't here. Not only was I on IG with him, I was on IG with him and his wife. So for those of y'all who like, my husband would not allow it. That's fine. That's your house. That's y'all understanding. That's what y'all have been through. It's the reason he feel that way and it's the reason that you accept it. I don't have a a disposition for my husband and my loyal friends or my fam. I don't. Because he don't make me be that girl. And I appreciate him and love him for that. And if he had a friend, not no new friend, because I've been married for 16 years, and if he had a friend that was there before me and she was a part of my life, I would treat her with love and respect. That's how you treat people that love you. And for y'all who was not there, Peanut's wife love me, and so do I as her. <laughs> and I also told her, thank you for allowing him to be a part of Nisi's world. Oh, yeah, and then he hit that, you know, sis, people think pervertedness. They think something that don't have anything to do with us. So maybe that's what separates us from everybody else. I'm going to answer your questions. I just need to get it off. Because it's getting ugly, you know. Um, I have talked to friends about, hey, when my husband come home, he take off his clothes and he put them on the side of the bed. After I just cleaned up, I'm offended. And they have said, well, girl, don't be offended. My husband do the same thing. Do they make it right? If you just cleaned up your house and then they come and put their stuff on the side of the bed, do they make it right? Oh, I'm sorry. A shout out to Blackwater. I like it. It's very refreshing. I know my voice is raspy, 
But your girl been putting in work all day. Washing, cooking, cleaning. You know, like I said, when I'm not on her, I'm taking care of business. Shout out to Strong Mama Chris for being that strong mama. Because she's understood and doing it by herself. And I show y'all my life. And it seems like y'all still don't get it. And I don't understand that. Thank you, Kimberly. So, let me get straight in. Hey, Bill. Happy to see you here, Bill. Unfortunately, I think there's a lot about me that you don't know. And maybe a lot of other people. So, we're going to go on and get to the business. Because I think that there are questions that need to be answers, to be answered and concerns that need to be addressed. If I slur my words, do that mean that I'm hooked on drugs or I'm drunk or I'm an addict? It just means I'm unperfect. That's it. But I thought that that was understood because that's who we all are. Okay. First question that was a very big concern. Why did I get upset and look at Kenya crazy when the neighbor cord came off? Oh, okay. Y'all have concerns? I'm here for it. Ask and you shall receive. So from what I got, I kind of looked at her with a nasty look. I don't know if I did. I don't remember doing none of that. But I, I remember being strictly serious about what I had to say. I remember seeming to be very concerned because that's how I felt. Okay. In my house, we have a captain and we have a colonel. You hear me? Or should I say lieutenant? Or, or can it be sergeant? Okay. However you want to put it, my husband, he drives this motherfucking boats. He do. He pays these bills. That's who he is. He at the top of the rank. Under him is me. And when he's not here, it's my job to provide and protect. Did I just have a baby? No. Do I have a baby? <laughs> I think I got seven of them. I don't give a damn how old they are. You hear me? So... Whenever I see something that I feel that I need to be concerned about, I'm going to be concerned. Me, myself, as a child, even in church or at the grocery store, when I did something wrong, my mama just, and I got it together. She didn't have to threaten me. She didn't have to look at me. Yes, she did. That's what she did. She looked. She didn't have to hit me. She didn't have to threaten me. She just looked. That right there said everything, okay? So, yeah, I looked at Kenya some type of way. And it wasn't for you to understand. It was for me and her to understand. If you did something that was not right, you need to let me know in our honesty, whether that's my baby or not. You understand? Okay? Now, with that being said, was I being vicious? No. Was I being stern? Yes. If that look that I gave Kenya offended y'all, I highly apologize. But this is Nisi World. I'm just sharing it with you guys. And if you don't want it, it's fine. And if you have judgments on it, it's fine. And if you feel bad for Kenya, that's fine too. I was not trying to be ugly. I was not trying to be mean. Because your girl can be ugly and mean. Now, Kenya is a young mother, okay? She do not know how I feel to be a mother. That's why she has her mother. Now, with that being said, how would y'all feel if I sat down and did absolutely nothing and let her do things the way that she wants to? Matter of fact, Kenya, come here, baby. Have a seat. Let me scoot a little closer. I 
Um, let me ask you. How would you feel? Yeah, baby, gotta sit back so they can see you. How would you feel if you had this baby and brought this baby home and you tried to do your best and I watched you and I did not interact? Um, I would feel kind of bad. You, oh, they can't, don't mumble, let them hear you. I feel bad because if I need help, I think you should teach me what well, I don't know. What you don't know. So on that day when we went to the hospital, your daddy had to go to work. Um, I asked you, hey, do you need for me to call Keisha? Do you need Sharon to be here? What did you say? I said no, I just want you here. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that again for those who didn't hear. I just want you here. She said, I just want you here, mama. That's what she told me. And I was there. Okay. So, last night, maybe about 4 o'clock in the morning, you couldn't get no sleep. What you do? Okay, the baby to you. Did you hear him cry? No. Was you comfortable with that? Did you get rest? Mm -hmm. Do you appreciate the fact that I can help you like that? Yeah. Okay, so here we got an understanding. The other day, his neighbor court came off. You was upset. You was crying. Is it because you're depressed? Have you been in your feelings? Why were you? Can you tell us why you was crying that day? Was it because I looked at you crazy? No, it wasn't nothing. Said. It's just because I feel like I, I was doing something wrong, but I know I didn't do anything wrong. I just feel like. I could be better and like paying attention to him because I didn't even know when his umbilical cord fell off. So I kind of feel bad. Oh, okay. So to be honest, you really didn't know when it fell off either and you just really didn't know how to say it, right? Mm hmm Okay. And it's understandable and it doesn't make you a bad mom. Thank you, Bill. I highly appreciate you. In every way, really, I do. I do. With that being said, that's not what she said that night. And I'm not mad at her. Maybe she felt some type of way because the camera was on her. You know, maybe she didn't want to share that with everybody. I couldn't have read her mind. She could have whispered in my ear, Mama, hey, we can talk about that later. Or Mama, can I talk to you to the side? Kim would have entertained my fam. So... Is it unnatural for me to give you an ugly look? No. Uh, I mean, I didn't tell that. I mean, I tell that ass up. We gonna be real. We get whoopings over here, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, you want me to whoop you or touch you? You want me to talk to you or touch you? Talk to me. Let's talk about it. I have expectations out of my kids just like everybody else. And when it comes to that baby who did not ask to be here, I'm sorry. I'm team him right now. Why will my daughter not talk to me when she knows she can? Uh, let me answer that for y'all. She don't want to disappoint her mother. Or maybe, hold on, wait, wait, wait. That's what I think. If you can tell me something and you don't, why won't you do it? Okay, we can talk about a lot. Do we, do we talk about a lot? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you can tell me anything? Yes. When you don't tell me anything. Why would it be? Why would you lie to me or why would you not tell me something when you know you can talk to me about anything? Because I don't want you to get mad at me and stuff. She don't want me to get mad, so either that make me think she don't want the disappointment. We we get that. Okay. My responsibility as a mom, I think I just hit that, is to protect and provide for my children. Do I do that? Do mm -hmm. I protect and provide? Yeah. You know, if at any point in time you feel like I'm being some type of way, are you going to tell me? Yeah. Do you think I respect your feelings? There we, no pressure. Or is this how you really feel? Are you standing for the camera? That's how I really feel. Okay. 
Thank you and shout out to everybody who was very concerned about my daughter's feelings. Me and Helen CBD. I don't smoke weed. Okay. Um, I don't know if doing CBD make me be a addict, but I did that. I was at the hospital. Uh, my daughter just had a baby. I was crunk. I was excited, and I wanted to calm down. I had adrenaline rush. I never experienced that before. I smoked it. It smelled like weed. It wasn't for me. I don't want that. I won't do it again. But that's only Nisi. That's not everybody. Okay? Me being on medication. Wow. How would you feel if you had to explain to everybody about when, where, and why you take medication? You guys do not see me take medication and drink because I'm probably not taking medication and drinking. Like I said, what needs to be took is took in the morning. After the morning, I feel free and obligated to do what I want to do. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck Vicodin is. I don't know what oxycodone is. That's not in my vocabulary. I don't understand. Now, if these things that I do take affect me while I have angina, let me know, woman to woman, because we need to go talk to my cardiologist, okay? Because this is not something I brought up for myself, to myself, and many blessings I already said, she don't even like it. I can hold meds in my hand for an hour because I don't want to feel, I want to be able to do shit. You understand? I can't be this way. I got to be this way. So I don't want nothing that's going to slow me down, which is why I don't smoke weed. Thank you very much for your concern, though. We don't know how people act who take meds and wash them down with alcohol. I don't either. I don't either. You know? But what you see is what you get with me. And if I'm taking it, it's probably because I'm supposed to. Talk to my cardiologist. Having a man in my house while my husband is at work. Wow. I'm not getting why anybody is so pressed about that. I believe when that guy was in my house, my bro, Richie, he was in my house. My husband was at work. My living room was full of my kids. We was all what we was on this. We was on live. Y'all seen us. He was in a chair. He fell asleep. I believe his wife was on there. Was I supposed to say, hey, it's too late. Get your ass out. You're drunk. No. He could have had an accident. He had already came home from work. He was tired. I was going through something and a friend was going through something and he was there for me. Shout out to him. Thank you. If you don't have if you don't have men, friends in your life that care that much about you, wow, because it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing when you have a grown ass man that want to be in your life and want to be in your kid's life and say, this is my family. I love them. That shake your husband's hand. And that even tell your husband, hey, I love you too, bro. I'm here for it all. When you get that, holler me because it's beautiful. Do you like when Uncle Pina come around? Is he protective of us? Mm -hmm. Do you appreciate him? Yeah. When you got pregnant, did he talk to you about the concerns? Yeah. Did you understand? Was he disappointed? Mm -hmm. But he rode for you. And baby, when you when you talking on her, put your head up. Because some people think you got self-esteem issues. Oh. Yeah. So remember when you was young and I said when you talking to somebody, look them eye to eye. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Because when you don't, it lead people to think that you have issues. Thank, Thank you again, Bill. Like... I appreciate you. you don't owe us nothing. You hear me? As long as your husband is fine with it. But uh, I think other people feel like because that's not the way they would do their house, that it's a problem. Mm -hmm. But my house is different than your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a difference here. My family is different. And let me say this. What did it make Kenya feel? Oh, my God. So when Kenya read it, I was like, why are you reading why are you reading LSA? <laughs> I 
I was mad at her because I didn't want her to entertain it. Yes, I have been informed, Nisi. They don't talk about you so bad. Nisi, they don't do you like you do everybody else. Well, Nisi, some of them like you. I like some of them, too. And I can appreciate some of them. But I don't know, maybe one or two just don't get me, and I'm good with that. However, the concern this time was Kenya. Okay? So with that concern being about Kenya, if y'all so concerned about her feelings, do y'all know what it made her feel like to see how y'all feel about her? You can't. You want to share? How did you tell them how you felt when you seen that? What did you say? You put your head up, baby. Um, I said I don't want to be on here, and I don't want my baby on here anymore because it's like it's put always your down, can you look at it's that? just always something. I feel like I know people gonna talk, but I didn't like. The way they talk. Okay, so she said, I don't want to be on her no more. I don't want my baby on her anymore. And mama, could you please take it down? I said, yes, I will. I will take it down. When I take it down, stay off. Just don't be on it anymore. And I said, what did they say that made you so upset? She said, it's not what they said about me. It's how they speaking on you as a mother. I said, I'm good, <laughs> Jay. I said, I'm good. You know, we, we was checking it out. We was there for it all. And, wow, you worried about how I make her feel? Now, you got people here that really care about Kenya, that really like Kenya. Nisi, quit tuning into your own horn. Quit tuning your own horn, girl. Nobody, nobody look up and give advice. To what does it say? Someone who leaves their baby with a stripper. Get your party. Nobody who leaves their baby with a stripper. Wow, hold on, baby. Who left their baby with a stripper? I'm sorry, Sonny. Nobody looks up to someone who leave their baby with a stripper. I don't know nobody who ever done that, Sonny. And I'm not looking for nobody to look up to me. But I have to toot my own horn when I got seven kids and they going to college. And um, they're not shot up. And um, they ain't never been to jail. It's like, why wouldn't I? I'm glad that I'm a good mama. You hear me? Did you ever leave your baby with a stripper? I, I, girl, People nobody look up to somebody who leave that. Oh, yeah. Anyways, back to where we was going. Sunny B or whoever you are. Yeah, I don't know nobody who does that. And if you're talking about me and my kid, I had a friend that was a stripper who was at work. So if we're going to speak on me and mine, get your shit together, and we can talk about that. Matter of fact, we can make it be a whole story time. But I'm not tuning my own horn. I'm giving me my worth. You understand me? I'm accepting who I am, which is very imperfect. So if you guys are worried about Kenya... If you guys are um, worried about her feelings, I didn't hurt her feelings. You hurt her feelings. You understand? She wants to be a good mother. So when she feel like she is doing the wrong thing, it bothers her. She'll be okay in a minute, but it is for me to get her to understand. Because if I didn't, I'll be sitting back. Oh, now he got this. That's your baby. Oh, okay. You didn't burp him. That's your baby. Oh, well, that's your baby. It's my job to do that. It's my job to be concerned. It's my job to say, no, you're not going to do him like that. No, you're not. No, you're not going to let this happen. Not to say she did anything wrong, but FYI, I don't think she snatched his umbilical cord off. I don't think that. I think that maybe it got loosed. And she probably tried to rub it off or maybe, you know, she seen a little bit hanging and she probably got a Q-tip. That's what I thought. But we all know, leave it in it alone. Okay. Now, with that being said, can you say that made her feel like she don't want to be on YouTube? She don't want her baby on YouTube? I did tell her, if you don't want to be on it, I'm not mad. I respect that. But you do have people that care. Like Sky Squad. She was getting her car. Hey, Kenya having a baby. Like Miss True. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Nisi, do you need any help? Friend. Jay. BB. You know, 
not just my little uh, circle of friends, but even uh, my fam, my supporters. They sent her things. Lavinia. Um, what's the other lady name? Bill. You know, we had other people who do really care and who do want to be a part of that. So, like I told Kenya, you don't want to do, they ask you to do your own YouTube. Why, why won't you? Because I'm not, I'm not built like my mama. I don't think I can handle all the negativity. Because it's going to be, it don't matter, it's going to be somebody negative. And I don't want to do that. Because, I don't know. Yeah, I just you said it. For it. I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. But at the end of the day, people got so much to say about lives. This live that I just explained to you guys yesterday. I had to do the lives. I didn't have time to sit down for content. My daughter's in the hospital. She having a baby. My son is in the ICU. Okay, we trying to get ready for school. I got other kids. Damn, I still let y'all in. Like Ricky said, I'm sorry. Like Peanut. Like Richie, they the same. Like he said, sis, you didn't have to let nobody in. You could have hide us. You could have MIA. They, I, I was trying to show our career, and I'm trying to show y'all what I'm going through. And I still get blasted. I still get judged. I'm still getting ridiculed. My husband don't even hardly get on here. And now all of a sudden, we have an open relationship. Wow. Oh, he don't like that. We we disagree highly, and it's crazy. But, yes, he do support me. Um, Yes, he do go block a lot of shit out so I don't see it. Because he don't want me doing this. But I feel like I owe it to some of y'all. I feel like some of y'all need to know this. Just in case y'all sucked in and y'all have any questions, I want to answer that. But um, you know how it made her feel. She don't want to be on her. She don't want her baby on her. She won't want to have anything to do with it. Okay? So, I told her, if that's how you feel, I respect it. After all, this is Niecy's world. It is about me. You understand? She just happened to be a part of my world. So, she said it's not about her and baby. She just don't want nobody disrespecting her mom. I don't blame her either, Lori. So, but who is going to want somebody to sit back and disrespect their mama when they know that she's doing everything she's supposed to do as a mother? Okay. So, having an open marriage. I know you fucking lying. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. Now, if I have ever told anybody anything about me, I have said I accept the fact that my husband is doing something else. Why would I say that? Because in my mind, I have to make myself think that because he's at work and he's always gone. Many blessings said it's not true. I don't even come to him with that. Mentally, I have to feel that way. Because if something do occur or something do happen, I will be ready for it. My husband called me all day, every day. And if I take too long calling him, he feels some type of way. So at the end of the day, he not pushing me out. He not rejecting my love. He just one of those people who not big on being on social media. And maybe that's why he don't have social media. And I know a lot of other men who don't. But we have some men who cool with it. I don't judge them. I don't judge their relationship. Now, on that particular night, I was feeling good. I was on the camera. I was with Kim. Oh, we went out. I didn't have nobody in my house that night. We was outside on a porch. And my sister was there. Okay? And, and, and then when we even get into anything about Charles, let's just say he's a next door neighbor that looks out for me and my fam when necessary. We all know he fixed cars. I done woke up and he changing my goddamn tire. That's my husband's job. But he was at work. Thank you, Charles. Can he be a butt? Can he be vicious and malicious verbally? Maybe, but he don't do it to me. He respect me and my marriage and my children. He have went and picked Kenya up from work when my car wasn't working. So it's like, I'm going to respect those who respect me. And if you guys don't understand it, now I got to make my neighbor, my friend. Oh, on Christmas, he bought us all something. Yeah, my mama, 
my brother, me, my sister. Like, you can't come inside my house. My husband know if he come. It's not it's not as dirty and stinky as y'all. Now, is that the look? It ain't dirty and stinky as y'all think. Okay. Um, if you're concerned about Kenya. Yeah, if you're concerned about Kenya, you hurt her feelings way more than you think I did. How much is enough? That's that. Be damned if you do. This is enough. This is why I question me even being on here. Because when they being fake, y'all laughing and talking about it. When it's set up and it's, um, let me get a fake person on the phone. Let me let me do this. Let's do it for the camera. Let's do it for the money. Everybody's talking about it. But when you're being real and you're being loving, it's still something to talk about. But half of the stuff that's being said ain't true. You know, I'm not finna share my husband. I consider myself to be a beautiful woman. And I'm very very attracted to my husband. And I want to share. I don't got no self-esteem issues. I will not. I will not. Okay? And I, I'm damn sure he ain't, you know. But we'll let him answer that when he get the chance. But I don't think he going to share his wife with nobody, honey. Okay? Um, What do you guys want? Yeah, what's up? What y'all want? What more can you expect out of me? I was just saying, it's been a week. My grandson is a week. You know, one week old. Cleekly just got out the ICU. He just got out the hospital. I'm still going live. I'm still putting content out there. I'm still trying to express myself to you guys. So is Kenya. You know, we right here. We a real family. We're not editing. We're not sugarcoating nothing. What else can we give y'all? People that's talking won't ever do that. <laughs> they could never... Yeah, wow. Can you say the people who are being judgmental, they won't do that. We challenge you to. Show us your life for four hours on live. Let's see if everything is perfect. We challenge you to show your life on live for four hours. And let us see what we going to see. But you know what? Even if you did, baby girl, I wouldn't even join. I wouldn't. I ain't going to say join. I'm going to say I wouldn't disrespect you i won't go against you i wouldn't because i know we're not perfect and thank you kenya you right you feel like you're being judged mm. yeah sometimes oh do you but have self-esteem issues i want to i want to know if, do, are you like do you think you're no, ugly i think i'm very pretty and i don't have low self-esteem at all are you depressed no you just want to be a good mama. Okay. I do too. I cried when I took Cleekly to the hospital for pneumonia. And I know damn well I didn't give it to him. I'm 18. 18. Mm. You're very Thank pretty. you, guys. They're so sweet. Okay. Let, let me hear you up. And, um, how much is enough? This is enough. Please stop. Please. It's a form of defamation in a way like, I'm here. If you got any questions, I will answer it. I put so much out there. That's still not enough. My husband read this stuff. My son read this stuff. I have parents. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. God. <laughs> um, how does this add stress to your life? It doesn't stress me. It just leaves me wondering a lot about why or what can I do to show uh damn when did I give that when did I ever say that we have an open relationship when did I ever put my daughter out there to rip her apart did Nisi look like I know you fucking lying yes she did but I pay the cost to be the boss in my house this is my shit you understand and I'm gonna let you be the boss in yours uh, how does this add stress to your life? Mm, I don't really, I don't really stress about it, but it just make me feel bad because I know how you are, and they on the outside looking in, and they just judging for what they think, and they don't really know, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, we got 24 hours in a day. If you can get four of them, that's good. But, baby, what about the other 20? <laughs> okay. What am I guilty of? <clears throat> I'm guilty of putting too much out there to get an understanding. I'm guilty of allowing this to affect my emotions. I'm guilty of wondering how does this make my husband feel when we know that it's all lollygag. I'm guilty of that. I'm actually guilty of caring a little bit too because I kind of care. I do. It don't take me to a bad place, but it do make me like, damn, what the fuck? Let me go back and look at this shit. What was being said? What did I do? How did you get plums out of Vienna sausages? Wow. Uh, shout out to Miss Nia E. Got to shout her out. Because she said if you tell everybody from the beginning, then they don't have to question you. She kind of used 8 Mile after he did that freestyle. Let me tell you about me. Now what can you tell them? Damn, I thought I told everything. I thought I did. Better content is on the way. I just need to get past the bullshit. Uh, how I tried. How do I try to? Mm. How do I feel about LSA? You want to say how you feel about Lipstick Alley? No, come. I might say something real bad. Okay, you want you might say something real bad. Well, let me say how I feel first. Okay. When you read, when Kenya read me some of the things, you know, I know some of them are subscribed to me. I know some of them are in the live. If you are, shout out to you. I don't feel bad about them. I don't have a bad heart for them. I'm not sore about them. I just feel like lean not on your own understanding, sweetheart. Because obviously, it's some misunderstanding somewhere in there. You know, I'm not mad at y'all. I just want to answer y'all questions so we can keep it respectful because I have not got on here and roast and diss anybody. I have not came for anyone. I have people on here I don't like. I have people on here I disagree with. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. We appreciate you, honey. We do. I'm not mad at y'all. You guys are entitled to say what y'all want to say. I know y'all don't go off on me as hard as others. But I also feel like I have did absolutely nothing but try to share my life with everybody else. That's what I wanted out of YouTube. And I feel like I have gotten it. Now, y'all got a lot of riders. I don't even have to get in my comments and cuss people out no more. Because I got people who really do care about me. And, and maybe a couple of you guys understand me over there. But if you watching, you got a question, come on, ask me. You know? We don't, we don't be up in here doing all of those things, and it's not always what you guys think. But that hurt my daughter. You know, that made her feel bad. Now, we got all, we all know one person who's going to throw Nisi in the mud. We know that one person who's going to trash me. We know that one person who's going to talk bad about me and my kids. We all know who that is. But it's expected. But look at who talking. Look at who talking. Look at that person. You understand? So, LSA, I'm not mad at you. You know, I'm sure you don't give a fuck if I was. And I could give a fuck less about how you feel about me. But that's not who I am. I am a caring person. I'm an understanding person. I'm not going to let y'all take that from me, okay? It says, you still don't. Go ahead, baby. Yeah, Kenya don't know that it's just like a group of people and some people feel a certain type of ways. If I'm wrong, that's what I get. And I have had people to come to me and say, Nisi, they not against you like this. Nisi, they not that. It is what it is, you know. I understand, but I don't understand. Like, why me? Like, what? What is it that you can't ask me? Okay. Oh, that's the last question. Who am I? Y'all tell me. Who am I? It seems like y'all know more about me than I do. Y'all know shit about me that I don't even know. So who the fuck am I? You know, because apparently I'm somebody that I didn't even know I was. Who am I? 
drop a comment. Let me know who the fuck is Nisi. Fuck that. Who is Denicia Davis? Okay. That seemed like all of my questions. Giving too much. Yes, I have. You don't got to worry about that no more. You hear me? I know how to stay in my lane. I get it. Is this something you want to say, Kenya? Do you still want you and your baby off? Do you want to say not, thank you? It's not the YouTube people, you know? I love them because they always... They can't sweet. hear you, baby. I said, I love them because they always sweet. It's just the... um, What is it? What's it called? LSA. Lipstick, Lipstick Alley. Ooh. Kenya, not all of them are mean. <laughs> You know, you don't even know which who is who. And not all of them, you know, feel some type of way about you. But I don't know if some people are mad at life or what some people got going on. But it's going to always be a bad apple in a bunch. And I'm not even saying you're a bad apple because you don't agree with me, my lifestyle, or what's going on in my house. You know. So do you still want to take the live down and do you still want to not be a boy? Or do you want to be there for the people that do love and support you? Yeah. Tell them because they want to know. I'll be there for you, for the people who want to see me and who love me. I know my daughter is 18, but I want to say stay out for that, okay? Why did you go there? What made you go look at that? Because I was looking at that live. You could have seen a live on your phone like anybody I know, else. but I was looking at the comments and then I... After that I went off, then we talk about that, and I said if I did anything to offend you, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Then I tell you what my concerns were. Mm -hmm. Then I say if it's anything going on, we will talk about it off camera. Mm -hmm. That's taking away the real. So now y'all going to be calling the bitch fake because I can't be real because y'all can't. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Say, Ricky, Richie, Peanut, bro. Did you see the comments like, I left my baby with a stripper? Damn, what the F? Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. I know y'all got to go to work. How do we fix it? I'm going to ride that on. How do we fix it? Because it don't make no sense to sit down and talk about all of this stuff. Look at Bill. Thank, thank you, Bill. You. When I say thank you, I'm not saying thank you for it, Nisi. I'm saying thank you for the Davis family. Which is thank you for my husband. Thank you for my grandbaby. Thank you for my daughter. Thank you for my two sons that's one at work and one is at college. Thank you for the Davis family, period. Because anything I get, it goes to the fam. So I appreciate you. My question to y'all, five minutes. How do we fix this? Now, it's all about y'all. I want to know, how, how do we fix this? We got a problem. It need to be fixed. How? He do, and we appreciate Bill. And a shout out to his wife. You shout out to her too. Bill is a blessing. Always. Nisi. Life loyalty. Oh. TNT is in the house. <laughs> Keep your head up, move on. We like Bill. Solutions, ignore it. I got you. Stop reading it. Stop taking it serious. There is no problem. I see YouTubers drag up and down. You know what? Some YouTubers need to be drugged up and down. Some YouTubers be doing too much. Some YouTubers be lying. Some YouTubers treat they, they support system as though that they're not their support system. Some YouTubers do it for clout. Some YouTubers do it for the money. This is something I like doing. This is something I enjoy. Still haven't checked the bank account. I will. And when this becomes a part of life where I'm getting paid and... It's worth, like, then I do something different. But right now, it's for fun for me. It's for my enjoyment. I always trolling. Hey, Jay, Crazy Crazy Zilla. 
don't block her. Um, I do not have a problem with her. Um, she do the things that she do, how she do them. That is her. That is who she is. I'm not going to go to her platform and diss her. She have every right to um, say how she feel about me or anybody else. I never seen her disrespect me. Never. Even with, like, however she put her content, I ain't mad at her. That's her. She not accusing me of cheating. She not accusing me of having, uh, I'm just saying, even if she is, she not in my face smiling and talking about me behind my back. She posts her comments. She say how she feel. And I never seen disrespect. So she can be disrespectful. She probably have done some things that others don't like. But as far as Nisi, I haven't seen that with her. Y'all may not agree, but I'm sorry. Crazy, that's good people. What you see, Jay? Okay, I got two, uh, two more minutes. I'm just want to know how can we fix it? If LSA, if LSA is in the house, this is the time. You don't have to wait to be honest. If it's something that you want to ask me, come on, I'm for it. Nisi, you are the one of the realest chicks. Thank you, T. Christella. Yeah, I'm on some. Okay, that got Christella. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not Read that, King. I can't really say. Oh, yeah, some of them not going to like me, and I don't expect it. <clears throat> well, she don't expect for everybody to like her. I don't expect for everybody to like me. I think if you don't like her content, don't fool with her. If you don't like my content, don't fool with me. I can't say I agree with everything she say or think, but it's not for me to. That's her stuff. I'm not going to go to her stuff and knock her for what she do. You know? She might not be for everybody. I like how you give the benefit of the doubt. I don't even know what LSA was until I researched it tonight. Katrina. Hey, Katrina girl. I'm glad that I see you here because I was on Instagram. I was trying to reach out to you. Don't be freaked out by the fact that um, I called you through Instagram. I did that because you hit my heart. You said, you said I wanted to see more content. Um, to be honest, I want to see more of this. I think that was you. And um, I think I needed to tell you. And I wanted to say face to face. Thank you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you being here. For y'all who don't know, that's what I did. I got on IG and I called a couple of people back just to say thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Everybody do things different on your on their YouTube channel. But I can actually say, when you if you say, Nisi, hey, what have you done to let us know that you appreciate us? Well, I called. I tried to get FaceTime. I wanted to, to ask you guys, if there's something about me that you want to know, ask me. Mm -hmm. I don't know no YouTuber who do that. But it's cool because that's what I do. That's what I want to do. I want to say thank you face to face. I want to hear. I want to say I'm here for it all. You understand? I want to hear your voice. I want to see you. Do you know how good it made me feel? I saw Liz. I saw Mama T. I saw uh, Queen Diva. I seen a lot of people that said, I'm here for you, Nisi. I appreciate it. And I felt good because I was just able to say, thank you. Thank you. Wow. LSA watching and listening if they don't like you. I don't know. If they heard, maybe you should ask them. I was so sad I missed your call. If you missed my call, I just want to say thank you and I appreciate you, baby. That's all. And I'm going to keep doing it. Because it, it ain't going to stop with me. That's what I do. A lot of other people may not answer their comments. If I have not answered y'all comments on YouTube or on Instagram, a lot been going on. Content will be coming and we going to grow because we going to do a lot of stuff together. But like I said, it's been a week. Sonny, I see you. Grandbaby just got there. School started. My husband at work. It's me, y'all. It's just me. I like LSA because I prefer because I prefer people who say in their own opinions. You know what? LSA ain't for everybody. 
Niecy wear not for everybody. But what I don't like is when they make me be somebody. I don't like the defamation. I don't like um, the way she do her daughter or um, she's swallowing all of these pills and alcohol. I don't like um, she taking Vicodin and such and such. When I don't, I ain't never took that shit. Like, what the fuck is that? Okay. I don't like um, she have all these different men in her house. Charles and Peanut, I barely get to see Peanut. And I'm not going to stop him from coming around because you're going to see a lot of Nisi and Peanut in a minute you will. I think y'all going to enjoy it. We got a treat for y'all. He ain't going nowhere. And if that's not your cup of tea and if it's disrespectful, so maybe I'm not your girl. You hear me? I ain't mad at nothing. I haven't gotten any money for this. You understand? And if I did, I don't know yet. I'm going to check it out and I'm going to let y'all know. I appreciate you for talking with us. Thank you. Keyword is your house. On the LSA or anyone change how you feel. LSA, this is your time. Please ask me. Because why do my husband need to be on the road? You know, this is his family. He work. He pay bills. Like, why do he need to hear his wife being slandered when she absolutely have done nothing wrong? It's like, damn, he see me. He looking with y'all. He, I'm sure he in the building right now. A shout out to him. Shy, you hear? Like, he had to get off the phone that night. He didn't want to talk. Nisi, go on and do them. Go on, go on and do fam. I'm working. Is he finna be on a truck like this? No, he can't do that. He have cameras in his truck. Um, I'm sorry. Every time I call, can he answer? No. Do that mean I think he with a woman? No. Everybody know that I don't like him driving trucks, but that's what he do. I accept it. So every time he call, I'm not going to get to talk to him. Sometimes he going to call me back. Do that mean that he's cheating on me? Do that mean that he got, uh, I accept other things? No. That mean, baby, I'll get back with you in a minute. That mean you drinking and you hanging out with YouTube, call me when you alone. He entitled to that. Why he can't get on here and say, you know what? I seen people on Instagram with my wife and they was happy. They tear it up. Why he can't just be happy with that? Why he can't say this is what I'm doing it for? Why he can't be happy with that? Why I got to be some BS on in there? You know, Kenya is too old for us to have to tell her what she should and shouldn't watch on social media. She 18. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I love you all. I appreciate you. And I'm never going to stop trying to connect. I'm not. That's why I did the IG thing. So if you guys seen me on IG and I hit you up, I ain't offended because you didn't accept my call. Understand that. Know that I'm not offended. Everybody wasn't ready. I told them, you can put the camera in the sky. I just want to tell you verbally that I appreciate you. I'm going to end it. It's late. It's not a two-hour live. Throw the comments. Throw them. Throw them. Throw the comments. I'm going to catch them. I'm here for it. I want to know. I will answer you. I told y'all, man, I'm trying to rebuild, and we're going to grow together. My marriage is not perfect. I'm not perfect. So how can I fix shit inside my house? And the only thing I'm getting is criticism, criticism. When I'm doing the fucking best I can. I know you lying. Don't kick nobody when they down. Wow. Why? This is who I am. Oh, I'm not drunk. I'm not uh, hiked up on meds or weed or CBD. You know, like I shared my first CBD sucker with y'all. I shared that little hit. Did I inhale it? Whoever said I didn't, I did. <coughs> uh, nasty. It wasn't for me. Okay? Thank you, guys. I love you. Any questions, I'll try to get to you. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Hey, Donna, y'all, what's up? Y'all want positive reinforcement? Woman power? We can't do it because it's always somebody who want to knock you in the mud. And if you didn't do that, I'm not speaking of you. You hear me? But if that's who you are, what's up? Like, what's up, boo? What's the problem? What you want to know? 
Because this is the last time I'm going to do this. Okay? Love y'all. Good night. I'm out.